Today's video, we're going to talk about the top five offensive playbooks in Madden NFL 16. What's up, guys? My name is Cody. I like to make Madden videos and post them on the internet. Today, we're taking a look at the top five offensive playbooks in Madden NFL 16. And coming in on number five on our list is the Indianapolis Colts offensive playbook. It's a playbook that I've really become uh, fairly fond of lately. And the reason that I really like this playbook uh, is, first and foremost, the I-Form Tackle Over is only found in two playbooks this year. It's only found in the uh, Indianapolis Colts and the St. Louis Rams. And the cool part about the I-Form Tackle Over is everybody's favorite play, the fullback dive strong is very effective out of the I-Form Tackle Over. Um, it also has the I-Form Twins. Um, it has some really good plays. My One of my favorite uh, formations as well is the Shotgun Bunch Tight End. It's just got a lot of unique formations uh, that you don't really see in other playbooks. And so uh, I-Form Tackle Over, Shotgun Bunch Tight End. But then uh, it also has Shotgun Split Close, which is a really effective passing formation this season. Uh, I know uh, Z Farrells from MadtIps.com does it and uh, works really well for him. I don't really personally use it, but uh, I know Farrells has success with it. Uh, and then also has the shotgun wide trips halfback week. This is the formation I really, really like this year. Um, what we want to do is we want to come out in the shovel option. And uh, if we use the shovel option in combination with the inside zone, the stick, and the PA read in the four verticals, it's a really good offense. Uh, it's really good for Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, so you might check that out. Uh, I know MaddenTips.com also has a video on that formation as well. Uh, so I don't want to waste any time talking about it. I know they've already covered it. Uh, single back big close. Another unique formation, this tight slot set. Um, another thing that it really has that I like is the halfback blunt dive. This is kind of like a halfback zone week. It's a very good formation uh, and a very effective run for late in the game. Um, and then also, uh, the single back bunch ace from this formation is very good. You guys know how I feel about single back bunch ace. If you want to check out a video on that, you can check our offensive guide. And we have that formation broken, broken down. Uh, and then also has a twin tight end chief. Uh, another one of my favorite formations. The flanker spots a really good play. Um, and then um, the smash drive is really good. Uh, has the four verticals, which is also a really nice play as well. So a lot of good little plays here. Uh, and then finally rounds off with a very nice running formation in the strong eye twins flex. So that is the Indianapolis Colts playbook. It comes in on number five on my list. Number four on my list is the Green Bay Packers offensive playbook. I really like Green Bay, what they bring to the table this year. I think it's very effective. It's kind of like a really simple, but it's like the formations that it has is very beefy. Um, so first and foremost, we have the I-Form Twin tight end. What we know that we like from the I-Form Twin tight end is we have the stretch and the halfback toss. Um, no fullback dive in this one, so that kind of is why it's number four and not number one uh, for me this year. Uh, I-Form Pro, uh, doesn't have the iForm Twins, which is kind of a bummer. It uh, has the pistol, uh, pistol Y trips. I don't know if you guys like that. Uh, I don't really get much out of these two pistol formations. The Shotgun Bunch from Green Bay, though, is really, really good. Um, the audibles are really nice, too. You get that nice corner route out of stick. Uh, you get the halfback base as your quick audible down. You get verticals in there. Um, what I like to do is come out in the counter and uh, and work a nice running system from this formation. Uh, it also has a really good play with these cross screens. Very unique to the playbook. Uh, just a really nice uh, package here from the bunch. But what it also has is as the shotgun doubles on, which is a really nice formation with uh, the quick base as a quick audible stock. A stock uh, quick audible to the quick base. Really like that. Um, and I just feel like it works really well together. And another thing it has is the very, uh, you know, very good nor normal flex wing formation, which is a nice formation to run the football out of. Uh, has really two really solid running formations in the normal flex wing and the wing offset week. Those inside zone splits are very difficult to stop, and I would recommend them to anybody. It also has the wide trips halfback week, uh, which we talked about from Indianapolis, but it doesn't have the shovel option, unfortunately. But it does have some really nice passing plays, the 56 wide trap, the wide receiver screen, and all these unique passing plays that you can go through, and you're going to find that a lot of these do a good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage. Um, also, what the Packers have is the halfback zone week, a really nice single-back ace formation uh, with the flanker drive in the halfback zone week as quick audibles, and that allows you to come out in any of these passing plays that you want. I like to normally come out in shallow cross or Z spot or even the 0-1 trap. Uh, the 0-1 trap is still uh, decent this year. It also has a single-back bunch, and what I want to focus on from single-back bunch is has this play spot dig. Spot dig is very unique. You don't find it in very many playbooks, so it's good from 
Packers book. It also has wide trail PA in around all of the favorites from Singleback Bunch. It has, so you can utilize that. Um, and then, of course, it has strong close, which is a really good running formation this season, uh, especially with the reemergence of the quick toss. The quick toss uh, does a really nice job for the strong close. So a lot of good form, a lot of good little things. Also, the Singleback Tight Flex is now able to be audible to from a three wide receiver set, which is really nice because it allows you to use this PA draw cross, which is a really good man beater as well. So just a lot of good things from the Packers play playbook uh, and that's why it comes in number four on our list number three on our list this season uh, is kind of a toss-up uh, between M Miami uh, and Minnesota um, and, and also Kansas City uh, and Atlanta those are all kind of intermixable uh, but what I've kind of chosen to go with for my money uh, and this is just kind of my personality if you want more of a run heavy offense I would go Miami uh, but if you want more of a pass-heavy offense, then I would go with uh, Kansas City. Uh, Kansas City's a really nice playbook this year. has a lot of the favorites that we see in every year. I formed tight, which is a really nice formation. Uh, has a nice fullback dive, three-header rushing tech, halfback zone weak, uh, halfback toss, uh, halfback counter, fullback fake, halfback power O, all the favorites. Uh, the I-Form Twins Flex, though, has this play. Halfback zone. Halfback zone is really, really good this year from the I-Form Twins Flex. Also has that fullback dive, everybody's favorite run. Has the toss as well. Uh, so just a really nice little scheme here from the I-Form Twins Flex. Has pistol ace, in my opinion. Still one of the better runs in the game uh, is none other than the strong power and the power O. This playbook has both of those, as well as a 0-1 trap. Some nice passing plays as well. Has a really nice pistol ace formation also has pistol strong twins which is a really good formation uh, if you're wanting to run the ball uh, has a nice triple option and inside zone split inside zone splits are still effective in this year's game uh, and they, in my opinion they're really effective uh, also the pistol week um, and the cool part about this pistol week is uh, it has this play Y corner. Y corner is a very nice passing play from the pistol and uh, can get you some nice quick passes. Has a shotgun bunch, which I really like. It has some good, uh, you know, got PA post in there. Love PA post. Has the halfback base quick audible down. Um, and also has mesh. It has all of your favorites from the shotgun bunch. Uh, the only thing it doesn't have is the counter, uh, which is in the Packers book. So you kind of have to say, okay, well, do I really need the counter or can I get away with, you know, being more pass heavy? Has better passing plays than the Packers playbook does in my opinion. Has a shotgun bunch quads, which in my opinion is still one of the best man beating formations uh, in the game. It just is a really good concept year to year. A lot of good plays. I kind of want to do a little mini scheme out of the shotgun bunch quads. It really is a good passing formation to use. Uh, so it might be something to check out has this this formation which is a tenured formation since I mean Madden 11 uh, you know going back all the way through this Eagle H tight one of the best uh, passing formations every single year uh, this Casey stick and nod play does a really good job against man um, and also the play that I would recommend coming out in is the KC deep in uh, from year to year probably the best passing play for everybody's money uh, it's just a really nice play uh, and then it has the shotgun normal, which the shotgun normal is kind of like the shotgun doubles. Um, it has some really good plays in here as well. The read option it has. Um, and then also this KCHB angle, which is a nice angle route to the halfback. Um, and so, so you can do some things with that that formation. Snugs flip. The cool part about this Snugs flip is that it's the same personnel as most of the passing systems. Uh, and so this is a really nice package that you can use. Um, bench swap is really good this year. Drive trail, which is a, a really good play that you can utilize out of this. Gives you some decent plays not the best gun snugs by any means but is definitely decent and you can utilize it uh, for your own good trip side in which I really like this year I think trip side in is a really underrated formation and I really really like to play X spot PA slot corner those kind of plays uh, the corner rest of the tight end this year are really effective and uh, so you can use this as a really nice little package here love the trips tight end from this formation uh, and then the trips wide flex tight it flexes that tight end out into a slot position uh, he still remains unbumpable which is really nice you can use plays like fade smash slot wheel uh, read option and all that level sale which is really good with the quick pass to the running back um, so that's kind of that but then what I really really like is this wing deep offset it, it sets the back um, in an offset formation and we get really good plays like with this read option um, some zero one trap some things kind of like Philly Philly uses uh, kind of mixing in here Kansas City uh, but some just decent running plays you can utilize um, not a shot not a very heavy shotgun running set but like I said I think it is a really nice passing offense and if you're looking to pass the football look no further than Kansas City uh, and then of course you see we have all the favorites uh, from year to year with the uh, the Kansas City Y trips um, has these crossing plays 
and uh, also has uh, some other plays like the 56 wide trap, the counter, the inside zone, the read option, the slip screen, all the favorites from this. The only thing it doesn't have is that uh, slot option, unfortunately. If it had the slot option, this would be my number one playbook. Uh, but here, the running system, you see it has really good runs from the single back ace, uh, Z spot, uh, zero one trap, uh, all those plays are there, so you can utilize that. Um, the other thing that this formation has, or this playbook has that most don't, the jumbo pair. Minnesota also has the jumbo pair, but the halfback sweep this season from the jumbo pair is really effective, so I would recommend trying that out. Uh, single back wide trips, I don't really use this much. Strong eye twin tight end, uh, another kind of bread and butter formation that you can use. I like to use the halfback toss in combination with the halfback dive and the PA spot, and it really works really nicely. Um, so that is the it, or the Kansas City playbook, and like I said, you know, you could probably check out Miami, Philadelphia, and Minnesota and kind of put all those right there. Um, my number two playbook uh, this season is the New England Patriots offensive playbook. Uh, it's a really effective playbook. It's got a lot of interesting things in it. And what I mean by interesting thing is like things you wouldn't normally see. Uh, but it has this I-Form Twins, and we love the I-Form Twins. The cool part about this I-Form Twins specifically is it has every single play that we like. Um, the other thing that it has is you can motion that slot receiver to the right side to get a more uh, a better blocking uh, angle for him. Um, the I-Form Twin tight end, which has the fullback dive and the halfback toss, but doesn't have the halfback stretch. It does also have the PA spot, so it's a really nice I-Form Twins win tight end formation the shotgun ace uh, which is a, a favorite every year with hitch corners pa comebacks those are really good plays uh, and also zero one trap pass tight end attack those are some solid plays that are specific to the patriots playbook they also have the shotgun bunch a lot of interesting plays in the shotgun bunch most notably the curls attack the 518 hook uh, which are actually pretty good this year. Has a, has a slip screen um, and the bunch trail, but what it doesn't have, um, it doesn't have the Z spot, unfortunately. So it kind of that's why it's kind of number two. If it had the Z spot, it would be number one. Um, MTA's Patriot. A really, really good formation for me. Uh, I love this. I think I broke down a play or two from this formation. Uh, it's just a really nice play. I really, really like it. Uh, it's a really good formation. I'd recommend checking it out. The empty base. Cool part about the Patriots playbook is they have uh, a lot of similar personnel grouping, so you can really utilize it. But the empty base formation also, again, I mean, it has a lot of good plays. The trail shake is good. Uh, the middle high low is good. The stick and knot is good every year. So those are some So those are some underrated plays. And then the wide receiver screens for the Patriots playbook are really effective uh, shotgun normal um, has all the favorites here right in the quick audibles uh, and that's nice for you um, and also has skinny post which is nice uh, this fade halfback wheel is really effective uh, throwing that nice user catch to triangle on that play uh, normal flex week Patrick Patriots this is a play uh, very specific to their formation all of them are motions um, so that's kind of cool you can use some things with the auto motion but I don't really use that that much normal wing Patriots um, I don't really use this one that much either, but it is the same formation from the Giants playbook, but they don't have the slot trail, but they do have the comeback Z post, which is a really good play. Uh, so you can definitely get something going with this offense here. Um, the split close, you know, favorites from year to year, uh, really good formation. It's actually a unique split close. It's only uh, that it has two running backs in it. Has this nice play mesh uh, in combination and some really unique plays here from the Patriots book. So I would recommend checking that out if you just want to uh, check out a formation. You can check that out. The tight doubles on. This is a new addition to the Patriots playbook this year. And in my opinion, it really solidifies as a, as a top five playbook. Uh, adds in the Texan cross, the halfback option, the Z spot, the PA wide receiver cross, and then the short fade cross. All of these different crossing plays, uh, which are really effective this season. Uh, trip side in, a favorite from the Patriots, has a unique slant out to the tight end, uh, and then also uh, has some has a really strong tight trip side information as it does every year with the slot screen, a uh, little bubble screen, the PA wheel, and then the Pats Y N. Those are all really effective plays that you can utilize. Uh, the trips Y ISO it flexes that y, that tight end to the outside. So, so like for the Patriots, it flexes Gronkowski out to the outside. The smash Y fade is really good. The stick Y fade is really good. Those are some good plays you can use. Mesh dig, another good one. Um, Pats Y stutter is really good. So all of those are really nice plays you can use from that formation. Twin tight end flex. I don't really get into this much, but it is something you can utilize because it's the same personnel as your uh, shotgun ace. And so you can use plays like tight end spot, uh, four verticals, and uh, PA slide to get a nice little scheme going from there. Shotgun U-trips. This is another formation that is uh, really good this year that the Patriots have. Um, 
And the you know some plays that I really like to use are the deep slot curl with that streak to the tight end, the stutter curl seam, um, the pats cross is actually really good. Um, but the money plays that you really want to do is PA pats cross with that quick out to the outside. Corners um, are really good. Dry, double unders, those are all really good plays. Cool part is you have this 56 trap, this wide trap, and then I really like the wheel mesh and pats Y out. So some really good plays in this formation that you can utilize. Single back ace overload, I don't really get into this one that much. This isn't anything special to me, uh, but it does have some really good running plays if you want to work with the belly weak. The belly weak is a really underrated run in my opinion, and it does a really good job for uh, the offense to get some separation, uh, and get some, or not separation, but get some running lanes open. They have the same thing from the ace. The tight end cross is really good. They have just a really strong single back ace in my opinion. Uh, maybe one of the best ones in the game. So if you like the single back ace, this is the playbook for you. Has my bink, my binky, my bread and butter single back bunch ace. Has all the quick audibles I need. Um, it also has the quick pitch or the toss crack, the Z spot. Um, and as you see it here, it doesn't have the FL drive, unfortunately, or or it does have it. It's just different. Uh, but you know, I can get away with it. This is a really good playbook for me. Uh, single back doubles. I don't really use this that much, but I've heard that single back doubles for the Patriots playbook is really good. Uh, we see the slot screen Z spot. Um, those are really good plays. FL Middle, I really like that one. Not very many people talk about that one. I think it's a really underrated play. Uh, PA Pats Dig, um, all these plays um, that you can utilize. Bubble Screen, Pump Draw, 01 Trap, really good from the Patriots playbook. Jumbo Pair, Patriots have Jumbo Pair now. Again, another really good package. Halfback Belly Weak, uh, but they don't have the pitch, unfortunately. So it's not really a deep Jumbo Pair, but they do have it. Uh, PA Pats Seam is a really good play as well from there. Uh, single back tight slots, um, really good package. Again, one one, uh, still same personnel, and it has drag cross ups, half back wheel, uh, all of those plays. Pay shot, some really really solid man beaters and things you can utilize from there. This has the um, the twin tight and flex, um, but it's not really anything special. Um, like I said, it has the stretch. Um, the simple, the money plays, PA stretch go, those are really good. Uh, from this, this is a really good solo challenge formation that you can use if you want to be uh, good at Madden Ultimate Team, use some solo challenges. And then the wide trips, rounding out the, the playbook, and again, all the favorites. This formation, uh, the, t the playbook just has a lot of the favorites that, that uh, you can utilize there. So that is the Patriots book. And then um, number one on our list, uh, as we were going through this, of course, is Arizona. Uh, uh, Cardinals. In my opinion, Arizona is the best playbook uh, in the game. It has all the favors, plus a couple of very unique formations. Uh, it's the playbook I broke down in my offensive guide. Uh, it has the I-Form Twins, um, which has all my favorites in its stretch, blast, H HB toss. No fullback dive, though, um, but it does have the I-Form Twin tied in, and in the I-Form Twin tied in, it does have a fullback dive and a halfback toss, uh, and even a zone weak there. Um, shotgun Ace Twins, uh, which is a decent formation. I don't really get into it much. Bunch Halfback Strong, a really solid bunch formation uh, with the Z Spot, Zona Drive, and Wide Trail, Inside Zone, all of the favorites. Um, and then what I really like to focus in on is the four wide receiver sets. The empty or the flip trips is really, really effective. FL Drive is a really good play. Uh, another really good play is Deep Fork. Uh, it's a really good man beater. Uh, and also, I think it does a good job against zone as well. And then halfback wheel is my money play. I love this play. I think it's th it may be the best play in the game. I really like halfback wheel. Um, shotgun normal has all the has a split close, uh, which is really good. Has the spread, probably the best spread in the game. And one of the really good plays from the spread is the zona post trail. Uh, gives you a nice quick pass to the back as well. As some really good unbumpable routes to the left side of the screen. Uh, shotgun tight, in my opinion, probably. Right up there with uh, New Orleans with the best snugs in the game. Zona post, zona spot, quick hook, all those form plays. PA zona cross. If ran correctly, I think this is the best playbook in the game. Uh, shotgun tray. There's just so many things. It has everything. I mean, it has uh, everything you would want to do if you, especially if you're wanting to pass the football this year. In my opinion, Arizona is. Uh, don't look any further than Arizona. Trips half back week has some really good plays as well to mix in uh, with your four wide receiver sets. Shotgun wing trio week. This is kind of their uh, version of that. Um, you know that uh, that formation. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Uh, but that formation from New England uh, in the motion Z spot, motion outside zone. All those are really good. 
Um, but I really like the 56 trap in combination with the stick and the four verticals and the corner strikes. So those are my kind of plays. Has that wide trips, which we really like. Has some really good quick audibles. This PA post cross shot's really effective. Uh, slip screen, corner strike, double under, wide clear out, which is really good. Slot stick and nod, which is really good. Uh, just a really solid formation, in my opinion. And then has some really good uh, ace formation. Really nice quick audibles for the ace. The bunch ace, which is my bread and butter, has probably one of the better bunch aces in the game. Quick pitch, in around, slash, FL drive, Z spot, inside zone, all of the favorites. PA boot slide, which is really good. All of those are really solid uh, plays. Has the jumbo pair, but it doesn't just have the jumbo pair. It has the jumbo pair with the stretch, the counter weak, the halfback dive, and the PA seam. All of those are really effective plays. A really completed jumbo pair. The tight doubles on, which is really effective still in this game. And this formation has a really good tight doubles on. Has uh, the dig it up, the post switch, the halfback zone weak, the bench, the flanker spot. All of the favorites from there. Uh, the only play it doesn't have is the PA cross, unfortunately, but we can make do without it. Uh, it has a twin tight end chief, uh, which is from the uh, like the same play the Colts have, but it has this play under, and under is the best quick pass in the game. That little dink to the running back out of the backfield, really effective, and this formation has that for us, so we can really utilize this as a nice formation to check down to uh, in, in those uh, heavy running situations. has a twin tight end flex with the bubble screen. Fortunately, doesn't have the stretch, but uh, we can get by without it. Uh, the wing trio, eh, we wouldn't really use this too much, uh, but we do have the strong twins as well, and the strong twins... Um, has the toss, the counter, and the dive. Uh, so nice three out of rushing attack there with the bubble screen and the PAFB slide. So I really, really, really like Arizona and what it brings to the table. I just feel like it takes every aspect of the game and the four playbook really has a good strong tight um, if you would like to uh, see how I run the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook you can check out our offensive e-guide below and the offensive e-guide uh, what it will do is it's a uh, really inexpensive and it will teach you how to use this playbook how uh, to you know make hot rats and things like that how to make adjustments and how this playbook really is the best playbook in the game when you really use it uh, the correct way. So uh, that uh, is available to you down below. If you don't like that, I understand. Uh, and you can keep watching our free tips and free scheme of the weeks. But for now, guys, that's all really a lot longer than I wanted to go on this. But these are the top five 